But first, the president and first lady welcome home three Americans held in North Korea for more than a year. And we now know when and where President Trump will meet with North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. In just a little, uh, in fact, just over an hour ago, the president tweeted that a summit will be held in Singapore. It's going to happen on June 12th. Mola Lingi reports from Joint Base Andrews, just outside of Washington. The former detainees raised their hands in celebration as they walked across the tarmac with President Trump after landing overnight at Joint Base Andrews. These are great people. They've been through a lot. The president first met Tony Kim, Kim Hak Song, and Kim Dong Chul on board the plane. He thanked North Korea's leader, Kim Jong un, for letting them go after more than a year in North Korean prisons. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo helped secure the freedom of the U.S. citizens during a meeting with Kim Jong un. It was Pompeo's second trip to North Korea to negotiate the details of President Trump's upcoming summit. This is a wonderful thing that he released. The folks early. That was a big thing, very important to me. And I really think we have a very good chance of doing something very meaningful. From Joint Base Andrews, the three former prisoners went to Walter Reed Military Hospital, where they'll get rest and medical attention as they transition back to freedom. The president also took a moment to remember Otto Warmbier, the American student detained in North Korea who died last June, a few days after he was allowed to return home. With severe brain damage. I want to pay my warmest respects to the parents of Otto Warmbier. Warmbier's parents released a statement saying they miss their son and they're happy for the freed men and their families. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Joint Base Andrews. Uh, Mola, thanks. Now, this will be the first North Korea U.S. summit talks since the end of the Korean War. Kim is using his nuclear program as a bargaining chip, and President Trump has said it's his goal to get rid of nukes on the entire Korean peninsula.